Hey friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm your host, Rebecca Rice, and I teach family photographers how to gain a life of financial freedom through a thriving photography business. Today, I'm gonna share my screen and show you exactly how I cull images super fast through a program called Photo Mechanic. Let's jump in. Now make sure to give this video a like and subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified when new videos go live every single week. Before I share my screen, I wanted to let you know about a free class I have available just for you guys. It's called the five steps to launching your photography side gig. So if you, you know, love photography, it's a passion of yours, you've been doing it as a hobby, but now you think you're ready to take those steps to make it an actual business, you know, a side gig or even a full-time gig, whatever. If that's you, then this free class is was created for you. So it's linked in the description. You can go check it out, sign up today. Again, it's completely free and it's designed to help you take the steps that you need to launch this photography business. Okay guys, I'm gonna share my screen so that you can see exactly what I'm doing inside Photo Mechanic um, and we'll go ahead and start calling. So I'm inside Photo Mechanic, which is my all-time favorite um, <laughs> app here. And so I've got um, a recent session pulled up. This was with Caitlin James and her sweet family, um, who if you don't know Caitlin, she's an incredible um, photography educator, and we just had a great time on this session. We actually filmed this for my behind the scenes membership for family photographers called Behind the Lens. And so if you want to watch this whole session, you can see it in Behind the Lens. Um, but here we are inside Photo Mechanic, and let me do that, what I did one more time. So I have all of my raw images here. Um, all I do is double click on the first photo, and this um, like window comes up and I'm able to just use my arrow keys on my keyboard and scroll through really quickly to see what photos I want to keep. So um, the photos I want to keep, I'm going to use the letter T on my um, keyboard to tag and look what happens right here. There's a check. I'm going to click it again and it unchecks it. So I'm going to hit T and it checks it basically saying this is a tagged photo that I want to edit. Um, and so I'm going to kind of scroll through these. So like right here, Evie's not looking here. She is looking. So I'm going to go ahead and hit T and I'm going to keep going when I find ones that I like. I shoot a lot with families. Um, and I actually like this one better. So I snap a ton to try to get the best smiles from everybody, get everybody looking, and I'll just tag all the ones that I like. And if I want to see if it's in focus, I hit the Z and I can zoom in and check the focus. Um, this one, oh, I'm gonna untag because Graham's face looks kind of funny there. Um, I usually go through and um, I'll check focus, like if I'm really not sure if it's in focus. So like most of my shots I can tell are tack sharp. Um, so like this looks perfectly fine. Um, if there's something like that where I'm like, uh, clearly it's not in focus. <laughs> so I will keep going. Um, oh my gosh, these are so cute. And I just go through and tag the ones that I want to keep. Oh, Graham's not sure if he's happy. <laughs> there we go. We have a new location, coughing. We don't want any of those included. So I'm just going through and tagging the keepers. We're getting closer. <laughs> this is why I snap a lot. And I usually call through a couple of times just to make sure we got everything that I wanted. Oh my gosh, these are so cute. Graham's still not sure. <laughs> <sighs> but that's not in focus. So I'm just going to go through and quickly tag the ones that I like. So cute. We've got some whole family shots. They were so excited about these because this is their little guy, Rhett. This is the first shoot they did where he can walk. Um, so she was like, oh my gosh, I get the, the whole family walking. So cute. We've got mama, closed eyes. Here we go. Um, so sweet. And then I just go through and I'm tagging. So then um, I'll spare you. I won't do all of them. 
Um, but then once I've you know gone through and called the first time, you're gonna go click right here and where it says all, I'm gonna select tagged. So now I'm only seeing the images that um, I had selected. And I usually do a second call with my tagged images just to see, okay, some of these are really similar, like these two, which one do I like better? I like Graham's face here better um, than this one. So I'm going to untag that one. So the check mark goes away and I just keep going, doing a second call. Like these two are really similar. And I like Graham's face better in, oops, in this one. So I'm going to undo that. And, you know, you can do however many calls you want. But once you're done, you're going to click here and highlight all of them. And then you right click and you're going to hit copy slash move selected photos. So what I like to do is I like to pull only the photos that I'm going to edit into Lightroom. So I don't want to pull all however many raw images were in this session. I only want to pull the raw images that I want to edit. And so right here, process handling, we want to process both raw and JPEG files because they're only raws. I'm going to select right here where it says move photos, delete original. And I actually put them in a separate folder. And so I am going to go over here. We're going to go and I am going to go to Caitlin's and I basically call it Caitlin James uh, and I call it selects so that these are the ones that I'm choosing that I'm going to edit. I'm going to create that and open. Um, and so now that's the file that is here. Um, and so when I hit move, it's going to remove them from my folder with all the images, all the raw images, and it's going to have its own select folder. And that's the folder that I'm going to pull into Lightroom. So it's super easy. Um, then you just hit move and it moves them all which is so easy. Um, so if you have any other questions about culling in Photo Mechanic, I would love to answer them. Just put them in um, the comments here and I will help as I can. Hope this was helpful for you.